watching out for you. This is KZI 9 News at 6. The driver in a semi-truck crash yesterday on the McKenzie Highway is under investigation tonight for DUII. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Templeman. Renee McCullough has the night off. Oregon State Police say his blood alcohol content measured well above the legal limit. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live in the studio after speaking with police and those who live near the crash site. It's our top story here at 6, Sarah. Well, troopers say that the driver, 45-year-old Ray Lewis from Roseburg, blew an initial BAC of .29. That's nearly four times the legal limit. Now, Oregon State Police say that Lewis denies drinking. Those who live near the crash site hearing a number like that is alarming for the safety of the community. The last of Tuesday's wreckage, this cracked windshield removed. The morning after a semi truck crashed just feet from Penny Burns's back porch. I was sitting on my couch and I heard a very loud crash. It's hard to explain, but it's very loud. You know, something bad happened. Removal of the wreckage, not nearly as loud as what Burns heard Tuesday afternoon or the bombshell news she got Wednesday. He's lucky it was just a single car accident. I mean, he could have easily, there's a family living there, he could have easily hit somebody or another car. Initial blood alcohol content levels for the driver were through the roof. Oregon State Police say 45-year-old Ray Lewis, an Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife employee, blew a .29, nearly four times the legal limit. Upon talking to him, he said there were two, two deer, and he was attempting to avoid the deer and went off the edge of the roadway. But OSP Trooper Rick Hamilton says Lewis's story doesn't add up. Based on what he observed at the scene, Lewis was tested twice because OSP says he didn't believe the BAC number, denied he'd been drinking, and said he hadn't had alcohol in months. To be able to function at that level and operate a motor vehicle in any capacity is amazing in itself. A close call for dozens of homes and a backyard scare for Burns after a wreck that could have been much worse. That scares me because I have lots of little ones here running a daycare and that's the reason why we don't even use this half of my yard is I don't want people hitting it. And depending on how the district attorney looks at the case, Lewis could face reckless driving and reckless endangering on top of DUI charges. ODFW says that it'll conduct its own investigation, but it doesn't comment on personnel matters. We did reach out to Lewis for his side of the story, but he declined to interview. He remains in the hospital in fair condition. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.